hello, hello. Uh, I hope this sounds good. I'm using my iPod or what was this called? iPhone. I'm using my iPhone headphones to record this. Uh, this is going to be a new podcast thing I'm going to try out for a little bit um, or maybe forever. Who knows? Uh, I'm going to be talking about music and, uh, you know, hip hop music, electronic music, whatever kind of music I feel like listening to. I've been listening to a lot of electronic, but hip hop, I try to keep up with the hip hop, you know. So we'll be talking about that. I have no idea what I'm going to name this podcast kind of thing. Uh, let's just name it Cody's Podcast for now. Uh, I actually Googled that and there was nothing that came up. So that's what it's going to be called for now, okay? Uh, so let's begin. Uh, let's start with Childish Gambino's album, Awaken My Love. I thought this thing was pretty good. I listened to it about like four four or five times fully um i didn't really know what to expect going into this but i mean once i heard me and your mama then i was like all right and i didn't listen to redbone when it first came out but i listened to it when the album came out and i fucking love that song uh some other ones that stand out for me i really love me and your mama that one's amazing um zombies i really like and Stand Tall, I really like. I also really like California, even though a lot of people were hating on it. But I really like California as well. I like his voice in autotune, but I'm also a fan of autotune. So it kind of, like, Stand Tall, when it goes into that autotune, past, like, the second verse, really good stuff. And in Zombies, he has a few parts. I love when that girl comes in singing in that, uh, it, I don't even know. It's just really good. Really good stuff. It's a good album, but I I don't know how much I'm going to go back to it like that. I mean, it is very good, though. It's good that he's, like, uh, changing his style up, changing everything up, changing. It's like he's put out, like, well, based off his albums, if we're going camp and then Because of the Internet and then Awaken My Love. And even including his mixtapes. I mean, they're all different. In some sort of way. But I think because the internet is still. Like one of the best albums ever. Camp is also very good. Um, but because the internet is just on a completely different level. Than a lot of albums that I've ever heard. But uh, Awaken My Love. It's good. It's a good project. I'll probably listen to it or throw it on. Whenever I'm in a. In a more. Relaxed. Mood or. Just want to have fun mood. I mean, that's a that's a good thing about um, this album. Being a childish Gambino fan is that you could throw this one on, pretty much whenever you want to just get funky. You know what I mean? And that sound really bad. It sounded really stupid saying it. It sounded better in my head. But like, if you ever just want to relax or have fun or just dance around, you know, if people are you know you want to uplift the mood a bit, you throw this album on. And every song you can play, every single song will be good for that. But with because of the internet, it's like you, you some songs are kind of darker and depressing. And then camp, it's like kind of a mix, and it's, it's kind of all over the place. So with this one, it's fun. I like it. Now let's talk about J. Cole putting out an album Friday, December 9th called For Your Eyes Only. I think... I don't know, man. I mean, I love... I actually love that he's just dropping the album out of nowhere. It was just announced. I love that. I I wish... I cannot remember what album actually started doing that, even though it was only like three years ago that that happened. And then I thought all these albums were going to drop out of nowhere. I thought everyone was going to do that, where they don't announce a date, and then they just drop the album, and then bam, it's out. But people haven't really been doing that. But I love that he's done it twice in a row now, because I believe he did that with Forest Hill Drive. But uh, what I think the album will be, I think it'll be pretty much on par with Forest Hill Drive. Um, and everyone loves this album for some reason. They loved Forest Hill's Drive. Um, but I gotta say, I... I'm a fan of it. It's good, but I'm not like it's not like the best album ever. Like everyone really hyped this up to be the best album ever. Oh shit! He released 
Forest Hills Drive on December 9th as well, 2014. That's cool. But, yeah, it's a good album. I actually, I kind of went back to it the other day and started re-listening to it again just to get back in touch with J. Cole. It was, it's a good album. It's good, but it's not like, you know, people put him up with Kendrick and all them, like the top people, just because of like this album and his previous stuff. But it's like, I guess he's up there in a way because he started around the same time as them and started blowing up the same time as them and put out pretty good music but I don't think he's up there with Kendrick like when it really comes down to it like yeah he might be like the leader in a way of it of like the hip-hop world but he's not like he can't really go toe-to-toe with Kendrick though um I really liked Born Sinner I I think I might like Born Sinner more than Forest Hills Drive to be honest um the Illuminati was crazy Land of the Snakes crazy power trip amazing Mo Money interlude excellent uh, Forbidden Fruit, great. Crooked Smile, great. Let Nas Down, great. Born Sinner, great. Like, there, there are a lot of good songs. Even Trouble and Runaway, really good. But, I gotta say, I gotta say it, um, Friday Night Lights is the best, though. Friday Night Lights is the best, one of the best mixtapes I've ever heard. And that's for real. Um... That will always, that will probably always be one of my favorite mixtapes. Um, Sideline Story, I didn't really get into Sideline Story like that. Um, I mean, it has some great songs, you know, Work Out, Nobody's Perfect, In the Morning, Mr. Nice Watch, Cold World, Can't Get Enough, Dollar in a Dream 3. But I, I didn't really get into it like that. But the thing is, people forget, man. People forget that J. Cole also produces his own beats. So it's like, people don't really give him the credit, I guess. Uh, I guess they do, because they really hype him up to be, like, one of the best ever. So I guess I guess it makes sense. And the warm-up, also another excellent mixtape. Absolutely love that. I don't think I listened to the come-up. 2007, Jesus Christ, that's a long time ago. Holy shit, that's almost a decade ago. Dollar and Dreams on there. Nah, I think I listened to a few tracks, a few tracks off that, but I didn't really listen to it fully. Um, so yeah, with this new project I'm at, or new album, I'm actually really excited to hear it, but I don't know if it'll be, you know, like the best thing ever. But we'll see, we'll see what happens with it. Um, and. I think just today, just earlier before I started this, they, or Absol and all of them, they, TD, they announced new Absol album coming out Friday, which is going to be crazy, I think. It's, I love when, I love when rappers put out their albums the same day. Like that, excuse me, that one day actually, June 2013, Yeezus, uh, watching movies and uh, Born Sinner dropped. That was cool. I think something else, something else came out too. Can't remember, but um, that was awesome. And I wish more rappers would do that as well. I wish more rappers would put out albums the same day. It's just really, I don't know. There's just something special about it. So J Cole and Absol coming out the same day. That actually rhymed. Um, I think this album will be good. I heard. Uh, he put out a song today. Well, he put out Huey New back in October, and that song was awesome. Uh, I haven't heard this other one that I don't even know how to pronounce, but it was produced by Wonder Girl, so it should fucking be incredible. Uh, what is this song that he just put out? Hold on, I gotta look this shit up. But I just heard it. And it sounds crazy. The beat is crazy. Um, what do I think the album will actually sound like? I have no idea. It'll probably be dark. <laughs> I mean, this album cover looks like he's stressed. Uh, threatening, threatening nature. That's the song. Crazy beat, crazy beat, and his flow is pretty crazy too. He's kind of all over the place with it. I think it'll be really good. I have a good feeling about it. Um, these days. I was really let down by. I was let down by that album. Had a few good songs on it, like uh, 
Let's see. Yikes. I don't remember any of these. Uh, What's that? I think these days was actually... Where the fuck is it? I'm looking at the whole title or the whole track list. I don't see the one song. Uh, I can't... I don't see... I don't remember any of these songs, actually. But he he had the one song that's... I think it was a title track. It was called These Days, I thought. I guess not. Absol These Days. I'm, it's definitely a song on there. It's like the last song, I thought. Yeah, I don't know why it's not on the Wikipedia page. Maybe it was like a bonus song. Anyway, that song... Super good song, but uh, other than that, I don't know. I didn't. I, I didn't really like these days too much. Control system was excellent. Control system was really good. Uh. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that project. I'm looking forward to J Cole. That should be a good day. This year has been incredible for music. Probably one of the best years for music in this decade so far. Um, not a lot of rap, honestly. I mean, there actually has been a shit ton of rap, but uh, when I look at like the lists, it, I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. There actually, there have been a lot of good rap albums. I'm gonna do a top ten as well, but that'll be all. That'll be all genres of music, probably mostly hip hop. But um, what else is there to talk about? Uh, I can talk about the weekend album. I didn't really enjoy that. Yeah, I don't. I just can't get with this new sound of his. I really just can't get with the new sound. I just listened to Kissland earlier today, actually, like right before, right when I was waking up, and I was kind of in the middle of like sleeping and waking up, and uh, it sounded pretty good <laughs> from what I remember. But I mean, House of Balloons. <sighs> Will he ever top House of Balloons? That's the question. Is the weekend the Nas of modern day R and B music? Because it's like week. It's like House of Balloons is his Illmatic. I mean, it's ten tracks long, just like Illmatic. Actually, it's only nine. But House of Balloons is a classic project. Thursday was also really good, but then Echoes of Silence was even better than Thursday. Trilogy. I don't understand trilogy. A compilation album. Like, how can you just... I don't understand that. I don't understand how he can just put out a, a compilation... This album is just all of his songs. It's all the mixtapes. <laughs> so it's like... And a couple bonus tracks. I don't understand how you can just do that. And then everyone rated it like... Like, on the Wikipedia page for his trilogy album... There's like ratings for it, but it's like it's just this. It's just all three of his mixtapes put together. So I don't understand how that works. Um, Kissland, yeah, I can't. I gotta listen to that again. But uh, Beauty Behind the Madness, pretty good. It was pretty good. Actually, I'll give it good. I'll give it good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought uh, Losers was pretty good. Tell Your Friends, really good. Often incredible. The Hills, incredible. Can't feel my face, uh, whatever. Acquainted, good. Shameless, awesome. Um, in the night, uh, whatever. But I thought it was good. I think it was better than Starboy. I mean, when I first heard Starboy, the title track, I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. I can get with this. I can, I can. I'll I'll give this a chance, you know. I I I understood the sound that he was going for. I understood the sound, and it was cool that Daft Punk produced it. I got it. I I understood, but and I I knew going into the album it was gonna be like this, but there's just something that's just not right. It's not right for me. I can't, I don't know. It sounds bad. I sound like one of those people, but it's like that drugged up, depressed sounding, 
weekend was just so special. There was just something so special about it. And it's like, damn, like, after seeing, like, the Tell Your Friends video, when he, like, kills himself or whatever, and it's like, the new him or whatever. At least that, those were the theories <laughs> that I read about the fucking video. But it's like, damn, we're never going to get that weekend back again. Like, this is really this the new fucking weekend that we got. But there are some good songs on it, like uh, Party Monster was really good. And that song with Future. Sidewalks was cool. Um, Six Feet Under, I think. Or, no, all I know, all I know was super good. I think Future was on a different song, though. When he, like, when it kind of transitions into, like, one of his songs. Oh, maybe that was all I know. Yeah, all I know was awesome. Holy fucking shit, Cashmere Cat produced that shit? Fuck yeah. Cashmere Cat's on here a couple times. But, yeah, that, that song with Future is mad good. All I know, really good song. But that's really fucking it, man. All the other ones would just sound so generic to me. I'm going to have to re-listen to that album. But for the most part, it was just so... It was a letdown. But it wasn't really a letdown since it was like, that's what you had to expect going into that. Anyway, uh, not, uh, not really sure what else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this one short. 16 minutes in. We'll, we'll cut the first podcast short, all right? Uh... I'll leave you guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you guys with an album to check out if you haven't checked out this album already. I'll try to do this every week. Check out the album Malibu by Anderson Pack. okay? This dude has been working his fucking ass off this year. He put out Malibu at the beginning of the year. He was touring like, the entire 2016, I'm pretty sure. This dude was doing shows nonstop, hitting festivals and going all over the world. I think he's still fucking doing shows. And he was at the beginning of the year, too. Then he put out a, collaborat- a, a collab album. A collaboratory album? Is that collab collaborative? Collab album. He collabed with Knowledge. He made No Worries. Excellent album might be on my top 10 i know malibu will be on my top 10 no worries might be on my top 10 as well but excellent album he put out two solid projects this year and i'm seeing a lot of lists come up from all the big music critics and i'm not seeing malibu on a lot of them which is fucking weird because this shit is excellent from top to bottom this is one of those fun albums all right you listen to it you throw it on when people are over, or you just want to be in a good mood. Excellent album. Check it out if you haven't. And I think that's it for this first podcast. Uh, Next week, I'll try to do this Monday or Tuesday again. I have some more shit to talk about. I'll talk about, you know, the J. Cole album. I'll talk about the Absol album. And uh, you can leave me any uh, questions to answer or albums that you want to hear me talk about, and I'll talk about them for you. I'll answer your questions. I'll uh, I'll try to interact with you as much as possible. So thanks for listening. Cody's podcast. This is the first episode. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.